With your Walmart store, you'll be able to fulfill and ship orders directly onto ClickShip with their discounted shipping rates. Before I show you how to integrate your store, there are a few things to go over regarding your products and orders on ClickShip. So only Walmart.ca stores are currently supported on ClickShip. Product information such as your dimensions and weight do not get carried over onto ClickShip. So make sure to edit those product informations on ClickShip after integration to get accurate shipping rates. Orders that are older than 90 days on Walmart won't appear on ClickShip. So now that we've gone over all the disclaimer information, let's log into ClickShip and start integrating our store. So first you want to click on your marketplaces page, then click on add new marketplace. And then you'll see here, we have a new integration here for Walmart. So click this and then you'll see the instructions of how to integrate with Walmart. We listed the information on how to integrate your Walmart store, but we'll go over the instructions in this video as well. So there are three things you'll need. Your Walmart store alias, which is the name of your store displayed on ClickShip, your consumer ID and your private key. So first you want to log into your Walmart Seller Center account using your email and password. You can simply click this link over here which will redirect you to the Walmart login page. Enter your email and password and click log. Once on the Walmart dashboard, click on settings on the top right corner and under API you'll see a menu called consumer IDs and private keys. Now, if you don't see this menu item, contact the primary store owner of this account to grant access to your API. So copy the consumer ID and generate a private key if required. Now, if you do have a private key already on file, you can click on the regenerate key button as well. Now, keep in mind if you do have Walmart store integrated already and you do generate a private key, you will have to reintegrate your store on ClickShip. So once we have that information, we're just gonna copy and paste this. So now that we have our Walmart store alias, consumer ID and private key entered, we're just gonna click on connect to store. Now after the integration is done, don't forget to go to your products page and edit the dimensions and weight for all your products to ensure that you have accurate shipping rates at checkout. So once after you integrate your Walmart store, you want to head over to your products page. And you'll see here that all your Walmart products has been integrated. Now for those products that don't have dimensions of weight, instead of actually going to the edit button and manually editing the information one by one, what you can do is click on the import export products and export your products as a CSV file. And once you open up a file, you'll see that here you'll have the option to edit each product's length, width, height, and weight for each product. So now that we've entered the dimensions and weight for each of the products, we're just going to click save on this file and import it back to ClickShip. And our upload is successful. And then you'll see that it has overridden all the dimensions and weight for each of our products. So now that when you do fulfill your orders, the product weight for your packages will automatically be selected and that will help you save time from fulfilling orders. That is it for the Walmart integration tutorial video. Happy shipping from the ClickShip team.